So if you haven't seen the GTA 6 trailer, that either means you're in a casket or a coma. And if you watch the trailer, you could see that there's a person in a mugshot. The person in this mugshot is rumored to be how you could customize your character online. But some person, a real life 305 that tattooed his face that looked like the Joker, he thinks Rockstar took him and put him in GTA 6, you know, in the trailer. You might have seen that character on GTA 6 just dropped the trailer today. You know they got that character with the face tattoos. You know who they got that expired by? By me. Just look me up. Florida Joker, Miami Joker. You know what I'm talking about. GTA, we got to talk. But this isn't it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we all know Rockstar won't give this guy the attention he wants. If anything, he should be trying to gain fame off the trailer. Now, why did he ruin his face? I couldn't answer that. But it's looking like this guy wants some of them big bucks. Those Rockstar dollars. He's trying to reach in Rockstar's deep bag. And trust me. It's a deep bag. And he's asking Rockstar for millions of dollars for quote unquote putting him in the game. That's me. That's the person that got the inspiration from. You see that? That? That's me. That's me. That's me. GTA, we, we gotta talk, GTA. We gotta talk. Or not, you gotta give me like a meal or two. So what's up? I'll let me GTA. This guy's trying to milk Rockstar for everything they worked for. Okay, I'm joking. You know, he's asking for one to two mil. Probably like 1% of what they got. And they still won't give it to you. The dude even dyed his hair purple to make himself look like the guy in the trailer. Now, this guy is desperate for this one to two mil. It's your boy, Trucker 305, Raw Chick Alive. You know what's going on. Making worldwide news. Killing the news for the last couple days. GTA, I'm giving you the biggest... Free marketing you got entire history of running this GTA game. <laughs> yeah, bro, you're the reason they got 100 million in a day and 10 million likes. It's you. Now, I could sit here and be mean, but considering this guy's face and this guy's history of going to prison, and I looked at his screen in the background, it looks like he's looking up GTA 6 joker stuff and if this video pops up and he watches it i don't want anything happening to me i got things to live for i don't got a face like that but look man you're not getting that money for for that i want an extra million dollars y'all taking forever to respond back to me find the other character find the other person in florida they betrayed that character from i'll wait i will wait three days Three days before my lawyers go crazy on this case. This is, this is not like the Lindsay Lohan case. So with the Lindsay Lohan case, I'm just gonna sum it up. Basically, Lindsay Lohan's dumb, and she thought she looked like the person in GTA 5. You know, the girl that pops up in GTA 5, and when your mom walks in, you're like, oh, 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 oh. yeah, you know, she was saying she looks like that girl, and uh, tried suing Rockstar and failed miserably. You know, I'm just gonna use stage names from now on. So Arthur Morgan, whoa. His real name's Roger Clark, but we're using stage names. Arthur Morgan responded to the Joker. You know, Arthur Morgan, someone who actually worked with Rockstar, R.I.P. Arthur Morgan. He even said, this guy's not going to get any money. GTA, we got to talk. No, you don't. You don't need to talk to them. They're not going to talk to you. They've had people like you trying to sue them for decades. They are lawyered up, man. They know exactly what they can and cannot get away with. If I were you, I would use the notoriety that they just threw your way to my advantage. Capitalize it on it somehow. You ain't getting a job in Home Depot with that face. Yeah, so he just destroyed any hopes and dreams this Joker had of getting money out of Rockstar. But you guys let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think he would get a lick of money out of Rockstar? Or do you guys think he's wasting his time and he should just, you know, profit off what Rockstar's doing already by taking inspiration from him and putting it in the trailer, you know? But this guy, I don't think he's thinking of it that way.